as we've seen, D3 is the standard when you want to create a unique um, chart and there's no other way to go around it because D3 really gives us the flexibility to create some unique charts. With that being said, there's gazillion libraries out there that are built on top of D3 and that integrate with React and you can use those as um, to complement um, what D3 has to offer or to use them as a standalone or to extend them or to just use them to inspire yourself into creating certain charts. So in this section we're going to go through some of those charts and we're going to build some simple charts with those libraries and see um, what they have to offer. I will be um, going to explore those different charts, the most popular one that I found based on GitHub popularity which are ReChart, VizX, Victory, Nevo and React VS and then I'm going to um, go and explore the different criteria of which one is better and for what. Then we're going to create an implementation of all those different charts. So as you can see here, we're going to build a line chart, a histogram, a pie chart, a calendar chart, and another line chart. So during the process, we'll learn how to um, use those uh, charts. We're going to see um, comparison between the charts and uh, we're going to have some fun with creating some um, unique chart. To get started, let's use the Create React App template project with the master of libraries. And let's call the project. So go to terminal and we'll call the project React Chart Libraries. And open it in your favorite ID once the installation is completed. Once you have the project open, um, we're going to add uh, the data we're going to be using to create those charts. So inside the project, we'll add all those data files that we'll use um, in this section to create all of our charts. I'm pasting them in public and in public create a folder called data. and put all the charts we'll be using and you can download the starter project if you don't want to go through this entire process um, it's attached to the to the intro video